Look Let's at this! Look at this man's crotch. All right, here we go. We're gonna talk about a game I've never played. We're talking about this dude's titties. Oh wait, this is Batman. Oh, hey, at least there's no rubber bat nipples this time. Yeah, it's, it's a plus. All right, he's for Batman Arkham Asylum. I'm Josh. I'm Brady. And I'm yeah. Timmy. Yeah. I'm going to be useless in this uh, video. And these two haven't played it, but I've played a fuckload of Batman Arkham Asylum. So oh, no, man. 21% doesn't really count as a fuckload. Well, this is the book. PS3 version, so I never played this one. Uh, I've played 21%, but I oh, beat it on the 360. So uh, let's go in and uh, see some shit if the game doesn't freeze. Woo! So there's Batman being all moody, and uh, let's go in. I'm emo. No one likes me. There's Kill bats. myself. There's bats. Well, wouldn't you be moody, too, if your only love in life was a little boy and he continually leaves you, so you have to get another little boy that leaves you or dies? No, I'd just be called I mean... a pedophile and a rapist. <laughs> That's right. I'd be moody if I keep getting reminded that my parents were dead. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, here's Batman. He looks pretty damn good. I got six pack and a lot of feelings. And he has, uh, <laughs> and he has, like, what's cool, what's one of the cool things I, I found about this game when I beat it, like, was... All throughout the night, his suit constantly gets damaged. And he has, like, cuts all down it and burn marks and stuff. It looks really great. I actually do not remember what the fuck I was doing. I also like the fact that it looks like it was riveted onto him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the, whole, the whole thing about this game, like, how it looks, looks great. It actually looks like you're almost in a movie. Almost. Like, you're actually looking at the movie. I am the knight. That's right. Uh, I've killed all the enemies in this room, so... Um, alright, so... I don't oh, know do you actually you're... murder in this game? You don't well, just you, you, incapacitate? You, you incapacitate, you knock oh, them out. Oh, okay. You don't actually kill anybody, because, you know, that ain't Batman, right? No, that's, that's on, that's on Batman. Uh, yeah. where the fuck am I supposed to be going? Search Arkham Mansion to find Young. Dr. Young. So, okay, I'm supposed to... Okay, so the biggest problem about Batman Arkham Asylum that I found was, uh, where is it? Um, no, these are your weapons. Batarang, Batclaw, Explosive Jail. Okay. There's a... There it is. Okay, so... You have this night vision mode, right? Uh, well, you have, like, your visor or whatever. And you constantly want to keep this on because it gives you this important information about all your enemies. But you can't fight with it all. But it makes the game look worse. Like, the game looks beautiful. Like, you don't want to constantly have it on, but it's it's important tactical... It, it's, it's, a, it's very important to have it on. Which yeah, it makes the game look kind of weird and matrix almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is kind of um, not what you think of when you think of Batman. Right. Um, but when I'm thinking of Batman, I don't want to take the blue or the red pill. I just want to, you know... <laughs> I'm trying to figure out when... Drive the fucking car and, like, talk, uh, like, in a psychotic way. Okay. Let's go this way. Oh, God. Oh, God. Where am I? Okay. Good. So, yeah. Um, that's weird. See, look at this. This looks great. <laughs> oh yeah, the game is gorgeous. Uh, we're gonna go like hopefully I can show you an outdoor part. Um, what the fuck? Okay. Man, the Joker really fucked this place up. Yeah. Uh, the, the I wish I could show you a cutscene. Hopefully I will. Um, because they're really good too. Um, it's just so detailed. Everything is so fucking like it's like this has been put here for a reason. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's one of the Joker's boxes here. Giant fist in it. Um. Fuck. Uh. That's doing what kind of important. Trying to. Yeah, I've already helped that guy, so. Okay. I don't actually remember what the fuck I was doing. Um. Well, I saw you last played this game, like. I last three played ago. this game, like, three months ago, yeah, but I. Well, when I beat it, it was, like, December of last year, or November of last year. So it's been at least a year since you've completed it. It's been a game. year. And this was definitely one of my, like, almost, like, game of the year. Like, it was number two. My game of the year was Assassin's Creed, uh, Brohood. Not Brohood, two. Oh, wait, no, yeah, two. Fuck. Yeah, watch Batman. Get oh, God! How the fuck do I get over there? Alright. You don't. I don't. I keep climbing up. We have to go deeper. That's right. Uh, hey, look, a nice little. Uh, oh yeah, he, he can crouch and go in these like air dark things. Yeah, you there's, go any further there's in there. Nothing in here. 
Oh yeah, like the Riddler. Uh, the Riddler plays a cool part in this game. Like he'll. Yeah, I heard about that. I heard he'll, he like he leaves makes you riddles and you have to solve. Every them. room, like almost every room, has a riddle in it. And uh, when you when you go into the room, it'll tell you the riddle, and then you have to like basically snap a picture, s- solving what the riddle was. So like if it's like, uh, let's see, what's the riddle in this room? Uh, it doesn't say. I gotta go in the room. All right, maybe I have to go in there. Research notes for the Joker. Okay, um, this one might be longer than twenty minutes, but we'll be alright. Whatever. That's right. The quick look stops for nobody. That's right. We're just going to drop down here. Alright. I want to show you some Enter combat. I want to show you some combat because combat is so good in this game, too. It's See, like, there's this question mark, right? But uh, one of the riddles is, like, it's a, something you could see in broad daylight or something. And what you do is, like, you go up here and you see that dot. You want to line up here. And then you take a picture... Actually, I don't remember what the... There it is. Yeah, see, it's real already stuff. The Phoenix Project literally appears out of thin air. And there's a lot of stuff like that. Sometimes they're not question marks. Sometimes they're just items that are there. And, like, the Riddler keeps taunting you. Like, you solve all my puzzles, Batman. You're supposed to be the great detective or whatever. See, it's like, who is the main man in the hall? I don't know. I, I know there's a dude there. But I don't know what I'm supposed to actually take a picture of. Oh yeah, you can zoom in. Look to help. Yeah. A Batman. Yeah. A Batman. Oh, you can also like hang down. Exactly. So like, if there was a dude below me, you could like grab his ass. It's pretty cool. Uh, this way. Okay. Controls are good. Um, they're really responsive. Like, you got this punch, and stuff. The combat, the co- camera kind of pulls back, uh, allowing you to see, uh... Everyone around Dudes, yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's, it's, like, a not terrible version of, you know, Batman series games. It is, it is probably the greatest comic book game I've ever played. Let's say that. It's the best Batman game you ever played. It is definitely... Oh, shit, somebody's in here. All right. Okay. Oh, that's a that's a good dude. Central control, please respond. A lot of this game's about stealth too, so. Hey, what's up, guys? Wait a minute. Arkham control, you got me. Go free. I could have stopped him. Arkham control, can you hear me? Wait. Oh yeah, you can open the floor up here. Okay, so what? I should have seen the signs. Okay. Hello? Hello? Someone please respond. You get a device that a lot. Like, Batman has these cool gadgets that, uh. Like, he can. Oh, fuck. That he can, like, use. Um. I don't remember how to actually use it. Let's see, is it that? Yeah. Okay, so. This is the explosive gel. You can, like, put it on the ground or on walls. There are some hidden walls. And, um, like, if bad dudes come by, you just, like, blow the fuck, blow them the fuck up. Um, you got Batarang. Which, I don't... There's another device we'll get later. That'll fix that. Bat Claw. Yeah. You grab on now, when you had the visor down... You could see that there's a cable running there. Couldn't you put an explosive gel over that and blow that cable out? No, I think these boxes, if I remember correctly, these boxes are unlocked by... Uh, he gets a certain special tool mm-hmm. that allows him to uh, break boxes mm-hmm. like that. Oh. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure I'm remembering that right. Okay, so... I missed a place to go. Hopefully we get there... If we don't, uh, we'll edit this. So, yeah. For time. Yeah, we just sent you, we just sat, you know, it's been like 10 minutes of us just walking around looking at pretty stuff. Exactly. It's like, this is a great game! It's like a screensaver you can move around on your <laughs> keyboard. Great. Awesome. Exactly. Um, 
How do you mask your feelings without losing control? Stick it in a pooper. So true. There's got to be some makeup in there somewhere. So you see these like cracks? That means like you can blow them up with gel. Well, um, yeah. How you can go up there? I, oh, I yeah. Wouldn't. I don't know if there's anything actually in there that I haven't already gotten. Da 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 da. The goddamn Batman. That's right. What what this game does so well is it succeeds in um, it succeeds in making you feel like Batman. It does everything to oh, make I think you right feel like there on the wall might have been the answer to the riddle. What what the mask there on the wall? Yeah, that is the riddle. Okay, so these bats. When you, yeah, the red layer constantly does that. Um, but yeah, like, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, those bats. Those bats are like experience points. So uh, you can like, you don't level up Batman, but you get him new moves and stuff. Like you get him new armor and stuff. You don't like put points and stuff. You're like, armor level one now. Armor level three is the maximum. And I think back there in our office was the... Quest item we were looking for. The, uh, we were looking for a quest item? Uh, yeah, we're looking for uh, her research notes. we got to find them before the Joker does. I think those were those in the safe. I, it should have it should have prompted me to take them or something. There was a cutscene before this that I, I know there was, and I just don't remember what the fuck is happening. Batman, don't give a fuck about your papers. <coughs> See, it would have told me. Oh. Alright. Oh, man. That fucking visor, man. It's freaking me out. It's true. Alright. <coughs> so I guess... See, like, the fingerprint... Like, the trail goes here. So maybe I have to go down one? I don't know. We'll see. Batman. I wish we'd get some Harley Quinn action or something. We should have started a new game for him. We should have, but... Uh, this is kind of... It's kind of like, hey, let's walk around and locate some fingerprints. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you want to start a new game? Or are we already too deep? Who's the main man in the main hall? We are 13 minutes in. We're just 13 minutes in? Okay. I thought it was worse. Yeah, we could always just delete the video and... We could. And start over? Start over. That would probably be best. Since you don't know what's happening. Yeah. We are so lost. Well, I'll go here one more time and if I don't find the thing, uh, we'll start over here. Do, 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 Batman, Batman, Batman. By the way, all of our videos are one takes. If we keep this video, I just want you to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If we keep uh -huh. this, it's good. We're just, no, we, we raw dog it, so no editing. <laughs> Alright. Oh, God. Batman's fairly nimble. Like, he's a pretty... It's an ice machine. Oh. <laughs> he's a pretty bulky dude. But uh, for being a pretty bulky dude, he's very, uh, he jumped at a moment's notice. Well, I mean, he is a goddamn Batman. It's true. one thing I always hated about, like, here. it's what I hate about, like, games and stuff like that. So, like, alright, let's go on this epic adventure, or, like, let's save the town and stuff. And they always wear the same shit, and I never see them, like, do laundry or take a bath or anything. Aha! Uh -huh. like, this is what we need. Good. Video continues. Oracle, I found Dr. Young's formula. Great. So does that mean you've stopped Joker? It's never this simple with him. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Mark Hamill reprising his Joker. Still amazing. How about our old 
friend Zaz? Mm, I did bump into him on the way back from the gardens. I have no doubt he was acting out some twisted fantasy. Maybe he's scared of talking. Alright, rescue Dr. Young from Zaz in the warden's office. So what exactly is the Joker trying to do in this game? Uh, I don't want to give too much away. Even though, like, I don't know. Should we have spoilers? Um! Do you want spoilers? I don't know. Um, right now it's pretty vague, so... Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's say the... Let's say Joker... Okay, so, cool. It'll tell you where to go now. Uh, let's say Joker, um, is trying... He took over Arkham City. I mean, not Arkham, Arkham Asylum. He took him over Arkham Asylum and then made sure Batman can't get off the, the island or nobody else can get on. And he's trying to uh, do something on the island. And Batman's trying to stop him. There you go. It's pretty vague enough. Yep. Uh, we need to get up here somehow. Looks like we go through that door right this there. This door... Yeah, the main uh, hall. Uh, sure. Let's try that. I like games that actually have a decent map. Yeah, maps are fucking important. In Fallout 3, I hated that map more than anything else in the planet. <laughs> that map's important too, though. Oh, yeah. Well, like, the Fallout map it was like, hey, look, here's this green stuff. And, like, I don't know what's happening half the time. Alright. Ooh, the music became slightly ominous. Alright, uh... Do we want to fight something? Let's keep going. Oh yeah, this is a great scene. It's raining in the building, okay. Not worried about that. Just your everyday troll. <laughs> now it's done in a white I can't believe you insisted on sitting through that movie again, Bruce. Come on. We'll be late. I'm sorry, Daddy. Gummy's little tongue. He loved it so. Alfred will wait. Kill Bruce. Walking down Crime Alley here. Where are you taking us? We can come through here. It's starting to rain. Bruce is tired. Can't we just wait for him here? Everything is crashing, raining, it's right. That's where it's at. Huh. Now we're in an alley. <laughs> Come on, this way. Take a seat in my office. Is he okay? Don't be far. Kid like that with all that money, he'll be just fine. Shut up, now. He's eight years old and all alone. Money will fix that. Whatever you say, boy, his butler's on his way to pick him up. You hear that? He's got a butler. I'm sorry. I just need to ask you some questions. Can I get you anything? You okay? I know you don't feel like answering me, but it's the only way to catch you in this.
So the Joker is also apparently trying to make Batman take a deeper look at his own insanity. So uh, this is an important. These are. This is a pretty important plot point. Um, the Joker has enlisted help from other villains in the Batman universe, uh, since he is an Arkham Asylum, which holds all the crazy inmates. Right. Uh, one of them is Scarecrow, and uh, as we know, Scarecrow has like a magic whatever sands or whatever that make you uh, think about horrible things like nightmares and such. And of course, and of course, uh, of course, Batman's most horrible thing is his parents were murdered. So there's these Scarecrow levels. There's Scarecrow. <clears throat> and the scarecrow levels are one one hit kill basically, uh, and uh, you can't be seen by him. Also in that white range. Yeah. So like right there, and then I'm dead. Also, the kill screens are pretty cool. Like when you die, like you'll get a a, ba a bad guy shows up and says something to you. Sometimes it's Scarecrow, sometimes it's like Joker. That's a pretty cool scene. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we need to show some combat, so hopefully we can get to the combat area. Also, these two haven't played this game before, so they, they've never seen this. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, what the fuck is happening? How are you like, what the fuck is happening, bro? It looks awesome, though, right? Yeah. Shit, what am I supposed to do? Maybe I'm supposed to bat claw or batter. But yeah, I thought you were just supposed yeah, to like you grab know, a it, it gave you that tip. Did it? Yeah. I wasn't reading. Uh, Use the bat claw to create new cover. Okay. Now madness takes you forever. Okay, well that's good enough. Well, let's do it. See, kids, that's why you should read. That's why, yeah. That's why you read. Uh, yeah, I think this is the single creepiest iteration of Scarecrow I've seen ever. You like that? Oh yeah, that, that is that is frightening. It's pretty accurate though. That's what Scarecrow is? We'll pull this down. There you go. Pull this down. Okay, so the combat in this game is you'll, the, you'll hit the square button and you'll automatically go into an animation punching a dude. But when they get those uh, arrows over their head or whatever, you can hit a counter button and you'll automatically counter their move. <coughs> and you want to make this perpetual chain of counters so you'll never get hit and you look like a badass. Here. Right. We're gonna shimmy sideways until there is room. Ooh. 
Oh, oh, God. I fucked that up. Yes, you did. I forgot circle was the drop down. All right. Sorry to go. Fuck you. All right, some more skeleton dudes. I like the fact that he knows you're over there and he can't see you. Yep. Let's get started. Oh. Oh, take it. Fly over there. Oh, fuck you. And you see, you just keep going. Oh. Damn, everybody. Damn. That's right. Alright. That's pretty bad at spell that. It is, it's so smooth. Oh, son of a bitch. What? This looks fun. All these clocks. The whole game's not like this, by the way. This is a very special instance. What the fuck's happening? Okay. He's coming your way. Yeah, I see. Him. Controller shaking. Oh, there's no escape. <laughs> that was ballsy. Yeah. Oh. There you go. All right, we're gonna give it another pass. <laughs> so you killed the Scarecrow here by shining that Batman spotlight on him. Oh really? Yeah. Well, you don't kill him, but you kill him out of your nightmare. Yeah, because you empower yourself by being back. <laughs> I am not. Oh, God. And then I'm an ethereal plane. Oh, man. I think I just glitched it. <laughs> oh. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> that was awesome. All right. Now, where the hell did it take us? I'm still not. There you go. He's like, dude, my brain. Oh, man, I, 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 I gotta lay off four left, though, man. Exactly. Zach says Dr. Young trapped in the warden's office. I've got to get out of here. All right, there was a use command. Fuck. All right. Okay. Maybe I have to do something. Can you not open that? Mm, nope. Apparently not. Maybe you got to jump down the side with the bill. Oh, I know what I got to do. Property damage! Yay! That's right. <laughs> All right, now I can go down. Shit. Yeah. Who's underneath all that shit? It's pretty cool. Somebody. <laughs> Oh, whatever. <laughs> Fuck that guy. People that don't matter. Exactly. So yeah, every room has something like that, like those riddles. It's pretty cool. You try and get past me, Bats, and I will fry you! Hello. <laughs> oh, God! Oh. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Tell me, what of a seat? Talk to me. I'm all ears. Actually, 
<laughs> yeah. I don't know why Arkham Asylum decided to put all these LCD TVs on, but no, no, it's just like, hey, you know, these people are mainly insane. They should get some good cable. That's right, man. There's TVs everywhere. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's time to go to sleep. Huh. I'm Batman. Oh, yeah. You can, like, hide in the corner and, like, look out. It's pretty cool. Like, cameras. Oh shit. Batman. Listen to me carefully. Come any closer and I'll paint the room crimson with her blood. I know you're still out there. It won't be long and you'll hear her final. I'm the goddamn Batman. That's right. See a cutscene here. Finally. We saw a little cutscene earlier. You monster! You evil, evil, evil monster! He's not going anywhere. Game looks damn good still. Now. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I saw Bane. I know. I, I, Joker threatened me. I wanted to stop the experiment. I tried to give him his money back. Joker doesn't take no for an answer. He wants an army, a horrible twisted force to destroy Gotham, but he couldn't do it without the formula. I hate it, but... So now he has Venom and your formula. God, he has gallons of the stuff. There's a lab, hidden in the gardens. It's locked off, mm -hmm. but the security key codes for the entire island are in the warden's safe. What else is Joker planning? How should I know? You think anything he says makes sense? I think he's in oh shit! Get out of the way. Oh fuck! Stupid bitch! <laughs> Never turn your back when you're opening safe. Poor Jack the Young. Still, you know how Mr. J hates the squealers. Yeah. I'm talking about squealers. Oh, that's uh, that's the warden. <laughs> So here we see some combat here. I don't know, I'm a little rusty, so uh Uh, uh, take it. Uh so fucking good. Oh I fucked it up. Alright. Uh yeah the camera will freak out on this Oh yeah. Uh uh yeah, that guy. Remember you gotta double tap to evade that shit? Oh, you're right. You're welcome. Fuck that guy. Yeah! Ooh! <laughs> and it's so buttery smooth, man. That's what's crazy. I'll just flip around and shit. Dr. Young is dead. Have you figured out a way past these security gates? Before she died, she told me there's a production plant hidden somewhere in the gardens. The Wayne Tech security protocols seem to be hackproof. We just did a good job. It's a two-part biometric sequence, apparently generated by the warden, using a code sequencer. And destroyed by Joker in the safe explosion. Harley Quinn has the warden, and he's the only chance we have to get past these gates. All right. Okay. I, good luck. I think we've. I think I've shown y'all. Uh, a good quick look of Batman Arkham Asylum. Yeah, after, little, after like 10 minutes of walking, it actually got pretty good. Yeah, I might edit that down, but uh, but yeah, this is Batman Arkham Asylum. Uh, it's an amazing game, 
and it should be played um, by everyone. You should play it. You should play it because it's, it's great. It's one of the best games of 2009. And uh, that, uh, see you later. Bye.